Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be making a soulful hip hop beat from scratch. So it's gonna be for someone like J. Cole, Rick Ross, maybe Jay Z. We'll see when we start cooking up. I've seen a lot of people comment in asking for something other than drill, so yeah, we're completely flipping the vibe today. If you like this style of video, then definitely let me know in the comments. And if you want new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m., then think about subscribing to the channel. But let's get straight into it. Alright, so whenever I'm making soulful beats, the first thing I like to do is set the BPM to around about 80, maybe somewhere like 82. And then I like to start off with a piano, so something like Addictive Keys, the Grand Noir and Contact, just any piano that sounds good. And I really just start with chords, but I want the chords to be quite thick and emotional, so I go for big chords like 7 chords, and I usually pick a minor scale, so I think I've got a G minor highlighted right now. So just because we've got G minor highlighted doesn't mean that we have to start with a G minor chord. We can start with something like a C minor. Maybe invert the D sharp. So I could have this chord play for like two bars and then come down to the root note. Let's see how this sounds. But I'll do the same type of inversion. So that's sounding nice. And then from here, because I want it to sound kind of emotional, I want it to go lower and lower. So from G, we could go to maybe D sharp. And I'm just repeating that same process. See, I'm feeling the way that sounds. And then let's try go down again. in the way that sounds too then I need something here to take me back to the first one and just try a different chord let's try this one that one might work actually from here I just want to thicken them up by grabbing the bass notes I can just copy them with shift and click and then bring them down an octave I want to make this as human as possible, so I'm going to randomize the velocity. Bring it down a bit. And I'm also going to strum them, but I don't want every chord to be strummed the exact same way, because again, that's not going to be human. So what I like to do is have these chords just strummed a little bit. Somewhere like there. And then these can be a little bit longer. There we go. All right, so I've got the chords that I like. The next step is to think of a counter melody. And usually I just play this on repeat and then think of something on my keyboard. So I'm gonna record something in. Okay, and I'm just adding this plate reverb. I've got it on a modern setting. And I just cut out some of the lows and adjusted the wet and dry signal. Then I'm just adding some delay. I've got it set to four, ping pong mode, but I'm just bringing the feedback and input down. Just so it's really subtle. And then after the keys, I think a sax would sound perfect in this. So I'm gonna pull up a sax from contact. So it didn't sound amazing then, but when I increase this, it sounds crazy. I just need to figure out how it's gonna work with the counter melody of the piano. All right, and another layer I wanna add is just some strings. So I'm gonna use session strings too. I'm gonna copy the chords from the piano and I'm not gonna strum these. I'm just gonna quantize them. Okay, so this is what the strings are sounding like. Just adding a ton of emotion. And then I think at the end here, just at the end of the phrase, I could add a couple notes. Maybe just to build it up. So 
if it's something like this. There we go. All right, the strings are sounding sick. The next thing that I wanna add is just some vocals and I found these in Splice. I'm just gonna fit them to the tempo. We already have the BPM, which is 90 and they're already in the same key. So I won't need to do much with them, but I might just wanna chop it and change it around a bit. Like these two sound sick. So I might want to change this. Right, I'm going to need to filter these out. I'm just bringing the format up as well, just to get it sounding a bit different. And then just the same reverb as before, just to really wash it out. Also in the reverb, I've just increased the decay time. Blending in nice now. And then in this section, instead of having that there, I'm just gonna add a delay. So I could set it to eight. I could bring the volume down, set it to ping pong, just increase the panning, and then I'll automate it. I'm only have it on for this one section. Yeah, there we go. And I'm also gonna make this one unique and I'll reverse it and see if I can find something to end it. So I'll try each of these. Yeah, maybe this one actually. All right, and that's almost it for the instruments. I just want to find a few textures to sit underneath everything. So I'm going to use Arcade for this. Like this one, that might sound sick. And then this one as well, this one might work. All right, cool. I think that's going to be it for the instruments. I just need to start adding in the drums. And with these type of beats, I like to start with a hi-hat loop sometimes just to get that realistic drum feel. So I could take something like this. I'll just fit it to the tempo and then I can just chop it and rearrange it a bit. So it sounds sick, but I don't want so many open hats. So even something like this. And then maybe cut this open hat out here, copy these over. Cut that. This might work better. And the snare pattern just needs to be like that. Alright, cool. And then for the kick, I think I'm just going to use the goat one. It just works in like every beat. I could use a real drum like an old vinyl boom bap one, but I think this one's going to work alright. So with the kicks as well, you can see that I'm bringing some of them slightly off beat. Again, just to get that realistic bounce. All right, let's grab a ride, something like this. We can just boost that up a bit. And for the rides, I like to have them on every four beat, but then I can play with the velocity and bring some slightly off grid. So you'll see what I mean. So something like that, and then these can come off.
There we go. Alright, we'll add a crash in there as well. Pan this one to the right a bit. And then at the end, I'm just gonna layer the kicks with the crash. Maybe the snare as well. I need to bring some of these slightly off. And then just adjust the velocity. Alright, and the only thing I think it needs now is a bass. I don't usually leave it this late to add a bass, but yeah, I'm feeling to add a live bass guitar and I'm gonna use my favorite one in contact. And that one is the Scarby Rickenbacker bass. It's just a sick live bass guitar. Okay, so I've changed a few notes in the pattern. Keeping the velocity natural too. And then brought some notes up and out too. Like here. Alright cool, so I think that's going to be it for the drums. I'm just going to finish mixing it, I'll arrange everything and then show you the final outcome. Alright so I finished mixing and arranging the beat and I haven't really added anything other than this app on the drop and then for the riser I just took the crash and reversed it. The only other thing that I did was use love filter to add a low pass filter and that's just for the intro and just before the hook. So yeah I'll just play it from the beginning. Okay so for the intro I took the EQ off just so you can hear the bass of the piano. Obviously added some of the vocals in and then yeah we've just got the low pass filter gradually coming up. You can see what it's doing here. It's just a cut off. So for the hook, pretty much got everything playing. And that was the app I did. Yeah, this just plays once through and then straight to the verse. So yeah, for the verse, I felt like the piano chords were enough. Because it's such an emotional track, I feel like an artist can just be heard easily here. And then here's where I found space for the sax. Just to switch things up. I felt like if the sax was in the in the hook, be too much. And then we've got Love Villa coming in action again. So yeah, back to the hook where we have everything. Yeah, I think this one turned out crazy, you know. Really soulful, emotional. And then, yeah, I just copied that over. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you were feeling the beat. And just to update everyone on the instrumental album, I've just got one more collab beat that I'm working on. As soon as that's ready, I'm going to release everything on all streaming platforms. I'm also thinking about doing a separate album just for beats like this. So soulful, boom bap kind of vibes. If you think that's a good idea, then let me know in the comments. But yo, I appreciate you for watching the video once again. Much love and I'll see you next time.